Hello everyone, today I'm making my chickpea masala fried rice. Okay, I'm using my speckle, you know my favorite rice. I'm going to use one cup of this and it's the raw rice I'm going to throw in. I washed it off one cup and I put it back in the cup and I'm going to use that just now. But first, we have a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in my pan. I'm going to add one red onion. Just sliced, thinly sliced. Okay. Mm. Can it be that when onions eat the oil, it just gives that liquor rake the Cosma, it's just wonderful. Mm -hmm. So really smelling good. Okay, I'm gonna add two starnies, two of that, one old spice, pimento ball, few pieces of cinnamon sticks. Two cardamom pods, uh, two teaspoons of fennel seeds, okay, my heat is on medium, now I'm going to add Two red chilies, uh, three fat cloves of garlic just chopped up, and lots and lots of curry leaves, fresh curry leaves. You can use dried ones as well. Once that chili eats the oil, I may start sneezing. So I'm going to put the heat lower. Woo! Okay, and now give that a nice stir. Let come in. Okay, I'm gonna add some tomato, all the tomato. Um, some ginger. Woo! Okay, about a tablespoon of ginger. And a teaspoon of turmeric paste. If you're using the powder, just use half a teaspoon of turmeric. Okay. Bring up the heat a bit more. Bring it a bit closer. I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of masala, one teaspoon of garam masala, okay. I'm going to add one teaspoon of brown vinegar. And then two cans of chickpeas drained. It's about 500 grams.
And I'm gonna add a cup of warm water. Now I'm gonna just let this cook for about 15 minutes, medium heat. Then I'm gonna add my basmati rice and my fresh coriander. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, now I'm gonna add my one cup of basmati rice, speco basmati rice, and I added some hot water, about three cups. Chickpeas has cooked in the curry sauce for about six to eight minutes. And now it will cook further with the rice and the sauce. I'm going to put the lid on at this stage and when I come back the food will be done. It will take about 15 minutes and we'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to add the dania as well with the stingle. It's all flavors, lots of it, a big fat bunch. I've washed it, always wash your dania, always. But sometimes it's fine sun coral cheese. Okay guys, there's my video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone. Love you guys.